In today's video lecture, we will be discussing class 10 TS and AP SCERT chapter sets. Okay, from this textbook. Try this, which is on page number 35 in your new textbooks of 2020 to 21 edition and so onwards. Okay, so let's start. And the question is also based on empty sets concept. In my last lecture also, I had explained you concept on empty set. Remember what is empty set? The set which do not have any element inside it is called as empty set. So, these two questions are also based on that. See, it is asking which of the following are empty sets and also justify your answer. Remember, Whenever it says justify our answer means we have to give a reason for that question. So in this bit, if you see first bit is a is equals to x is to x square is equals to 4 and 3x is equals to 9. Suppose it is telling me that this a will have any element inside it or this a will not have any element inside it that it is asking and it is asking whether it is empty set or not. Suppose if it has elements inside it, for example, it has two inside it, which is empty set and which is non empty set. This is empty set and this is non empty set. Why it is non empty set? Because it has an element two. So we have to see whether this A will contain elements or will it not contain elements. So according to this condition. So let us solve this. In this it is telling and and means both should be there. So it is telling x is to x square is equals to 4 and 3x is equals to 9. It means that x is to x square is equals to 4 and 3x is equals to 9 in one element only it is coming. That is both are there in set A only. Right. See here both are there in set A. It means that this x will have should have same value for this condition as well as this x should have same value for this condition. So first if x square is equals to 4, what should the value of x be? We know 2 square is equals to 4. So the value of x should be either plus 2 or it can also be possible that minus 2 square is equals to 4 because minus into minus is plus. So x should either be minus 2 or x should either be plus 2. Okay, because when we square 2, then we get 4. So according to this condition, I am getting what is a minus 2 comma 2 why because when i substitute minus 2 square i'm getting 4 and plus 2 square i'm getting 4 now the same values of x there is minus 2 and plus 2 we have to substitute in this condition and see whether we are getting this answer or not so 3x is equals to 9 3 into minus 2 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 but here on the rhs we have 9 this is one as lhs and this is one as rhs so here on the RHS we have 9, but 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. So is minus 6 equal to 9? No, it's not equal. Now let us see, uh, substitute x is equals to plus 2. Here I have to substitute it, x is equals to minus 2. Na? Now in this same condition, I will substitute x is equals to plus 2 and see whether I'm getting 9 equal to 9 or not. Okay, so in this condition, 3x is equals to 9, 3 into plus 2 is equals to 9. 3 into plus 2 is 6. Is 6 equal to 9? No. Both should be equal. LHS and RHS. But 6 is not equal to 9. Means we do not have a value of x that is either minus 2 or plus 2 which is satisfying both of these conditions. Okay. Since and is there in between and since both are there in element A the value of x that is minus 2 and plus 2 should satisfy both the conditions. Since it is not satisfying there will no, not be any element in A. Why will there be no element in A? Because for an element to be present in A, uh, we should have the same value of X in both these conditions. So I will say here that since it is not having any element in A, it is an empty set. So it is asking which of the following are empty sets now. So I will write first bit. It is an empty set. What will reason will you write? Since both the conditions Do not satisfy the same value of x. Both the conditions are right here. Do not satisfy the same value of 
x. Okay, same value of x. What reason I have written? It is an empty set since both the conditions do not satisfy the same value of x. That is only the reason. Okay, that is why it is an empty set because we do not have any element inside it. Okay, now second bit is the set of all triangles in a plane having the sum of three angles less than 180. It is telling me that I should have a set and in that set, I should have a set of triangles and in that triangles, I should get the sum less than 180. But is there any property in which it says that sum of all the angles in a triangle is less than 180? No, we know that according to a property, we have a condition that sum of all, once again, sum of all angles in a triangle is equals to how much? Is equals to 180 degree. This is our property. When we add these three angles, we should get the answer equal to 180, not less than 180. But in this condition, it is telling that is this possible that we get a set in which the sum of all three angles is less than 180. So since it is not possible that we don't get any element in a set, will the set have any element inside it? No, the set will not have any element inside it means we will get this answer b is equals to empty set why because we do not have any condition which satisfied sum of all three angles is less than 180 so here also i'll write the same answer it is an empty set okay and what reason will i satisfy since the sum of since the sum of all three angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree Okay, this is the answer. Okay, so this finishes our try this of page number 35 in your new textbook 2020-2021 edition of TS and AP class 10. Hope you have found this video helpful. If you have found this video helpful, then like this video, share this video with your friends and also please subscribe to this channel because we make amazing educational videos daily for you all. Thank you.